Jim Sweeney with Hilton Software. We haven't talked to you since the release, uh, the latest release of Wing X Pro. So what are some of the things that are you're excited about as far as this newest release is concerned? The uh, geo-referencing of uh, more data that's available on the application. Uh, geo-referencing for the uh, sectional charts and uh, geo-referencing for the uh, high altitude and low altitude charts as it pertains to different phases of flight. The other one that uh, came out was Tresa, the ability to use your uh, finger to draw a specific course, and that's real handy in terms of trying to avoid a chunk of airspace or something physical that's on the ground, and rather than just arbitrarily flying around it, you can actually draw the course that you want to fly to avoid whatever it is that's down there. And it could be airspace, could be obstacles, could be terrain. Let's go through some of these features, and let's look at some of this, the, the things that are in the new release. What I'm showing on the sectional chart is a flight from Truckee to the initial point of the instrument approach headed to the south runway. This is the in route progress that I'm making so far. So the aircraft has gone on the magenta line from Truckee to the initial. The red line is actually pointing out the approach itself. We're showing it here on the sectional chart. We can turn around and uh, go to other displays and this is one that uh, people like and I've taken out the aviation information and here I'm just showing the terrain information and it kind of takes out some of the clutter and you can see each of the points that makes up the approach being listed here. Now I've got the route that's here and now I've got the aircraft that's actually on the approach. I'm geo-referencing the approach. So if I'm not working or if I'm only working with the approach itself with the naming of the approach I can draw the entire approach. Now, it will draw all of the points in there so I don't have to individually tap and put those points in there. So here I've drawn all the, appoint the points in the approach and I'm coming right down the approach as the simulator. The simulator does a good job of flying it. Now, I'm going to draw... Okay, now what I've done, this is called Tracer. Mm -hmm. I have drawn a route that I would like to fly Let's say that for some reason there was something in this area that I wanted to avoid or I wanted to you know, do the big circle. With the GPS, if I'm in this area, it'll show my GPS airplane and now I'm flying this route that I drew. If I wanted to go point to point to point to point on this thing, you can see all the individual points that I would have to add in order to do that. The, the thing that, that is real handy, if I'm going from point A to point B, there's Reno in here, and I want to avoid the Reno airspace, mm -hmm. or there's a thunderstorm sitting right at that point. I can turn around and go like that. So what I've done is normally, I mean, if I had the course where I was going right across, now I've got the ability to do the rerouting of my course and then get around that area. When I've gone past that area, I can turn around and erase it and get rid of it uh, altogether. So the Tracer is really kind of like rubber banding on steroids. Absolutely on steroids. It, uh, we can take and, and do things. Normally on rubber banding, you're moving from one point to a specific point, and you're just offsetting it. With uh, Tracer, we can actually draw curved lines in there, uh, and the radius is you're determining it, not the application, so that we can get it as tight or as wide as we need. And so the, rather than just going straight line to avoid and straight line back, we've got a nice curved circle. With this, people can get very creative in terms of looking at the sectional or the in route chart or something that's there and being able to say, okay, this is where I really want this thing to go. And I don't have to invent waypoints or create waypoints. I just draw them in and it will fit the line to that very smoothly. So is this upgrade included with someone's Absolutely. existing subscription? Yes, it's part of the basic subscription. Everything that we've shown here is part of the basic subscription. The only thing that's, uh, that would be added is on the approach plate, that's part of the geo-referencing application. So Trace is part of the basic. When we start geo-referencing on the approach plate, that's part of the advanced IFR. All right, Jim. Well, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. It's always interesting from Hilton Software. Very good. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by
The True Blue Power TA202 series high power USB charging port requires no bulky external power converters for 10 to 32 VDC installation. The in-seat cabin and cockpit power source delivers all the power you need in a small, economical, easy to install package. Available from your local avionics dealer.